Hi, I'm Nandita and welcome to my channel. Foxtail millet is a whole grain that's so rich in fiber and protein and complex carbohydrates that adding them to salads or soups just makes it so much more filling and it's excellent for diabetics too. So today I'm going to show you a Middle Eastern salad with this desi touch where I'll be using foxtail millet instead of bulgur. So let's get started and see the recipe. So we'll start by chopping up two ripe tomatoes and I'm just going to show you how I de-seed the tomato before adding it to salads because the seeds tend to make it soggy and also the pulp will release a lot of water when it's combined with salt. So just cut the tomato into quarters and then just scoop out the seeds like this. If you happen to be using cherry tomatoes then just half them and use them. But if you are using these kind of tomatoes, then it's good to de-seed it. So the vitamin C in the tomatoes and the lime juice, which we'll be using in the salad, help better absorption of iron from the foxtail millet. So let's add the chopped tomatoes to the bowl. And I'm also going to add the cooked foxtail millet into the bowl. Now when you cook foxtail millet for salads, make sure you cook it in a, a stove top pan using the boiling method so you know just when to stop and the millets don't turn too mushy. Now let's move on to the other ingredients. So here we have some mint leaves and uh, tabbouleh is a salad that has a ton of mint and parsley, uh, almost as much as the salad greens in a regular salad. So this is one way to consume herbs in a lot of quantity and uh, enjoy their health benefits. So chop this finely. Just chopping fresh mint is such aroma therapy because right now the whole kitchen smells amazing. And now we are going to chop up some fresh parsley. Now half a cup of fresh parsley gives you 500% of the vitamin K required in a day and over 100% of the vitamin A required in a day. So you can imagine how much we are losing out by using these kind of herbs just as garnish. So make sure you use plenty of these leaves in your salads. So I'll just bunch this up and chop this up real fine. So parsley, you tend to get two varieties. Uh, one is the flat leaf parsley, which I'm using currently. And then there's another called the curly parsley, which is also uh, much more strongly flavored. You could choose either, but uh, flat leaf parsley works better in this recipe. And our next green ingredient is spring onion greens, which I've already chopped up, so I'm going to add it to the bowl. So now that we have added all the ingredients for our foxtail millet tabbouleh, let's put the dressing inside. So for this salad, we don't have to whisk the dressing separately. I'm just going to add all the ingredients to the bowl and mix it up. So we'll start by adding some lime juice. Another tip about the salad is that you can prepare it in advance and keep it in the fridge because the millets will just absorb all the liquids and will get more flavorful if you let it rest in the fridge even overnight. Now some freshly crushed black pepper. Salt. and a generous quantity of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to give it all a mix. If you want to add some extra protein to the salad and make it even more heartier, there are a few ingredients you can add. 
One is crumbled feta cheese, which you can add once you've mixed up the salad. The other is cooked chickpeas, or you can even add chopped up hard boiled eggs. I would recommend that you keep this refrigerated for at least a couple of hours and then eat the salad for the best flavor. So we are ready to plate it up. So our foxtail millet tabbouli is ready. If you enjoyed this recipe, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon with another video.